Thanks to a new app called Biz Designer, I can now create completely custom interfaces for my HomeKit smart home. Essentially, you can design your own home app or custom smart home dashboard the way you want, and even create separate ones for different members of the family. Camera feeds, lights, sensors, calendars, weather forecasts, floor plans, whew, let's go. Yo, what's up guys? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Shane and this channel is all about building an easy smart home using Apple's HomeKit with new videos published every Sunday. So if you've ever complained about the design or functionality of the native home app, then this video might just be for you. Biz Designer is essentially a design application that allows you to create your very own app layouts for your HomeKit smart home. It works by using the Viz Designer software on your Mac or Windows computer. That's where you'll kind of design and build your layouts or remotes as they call them. Uh, then using the companion app on an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, you can use those custom built remotes to control your smart home. You can create and use as many app layouts or remotes as you want. For example, you can create a separate one for each family member. This could actually solve the issue of not having permission controls natively in HomeKit. For example, I can build a custom remote for my child, put it on her device so she can still control, you know, the lights in her room without having the ability to, you know, mess with the thermostat or the sprinklers or the lights in my bedroom. Additionally, you can even lock certain devices or entire pages with passwords. That's pretty great because like I said, HomeKit still doesn't give us the ability to limit accessories or rooms per user. Another great use case for this app is gonna be those wall mounted iPads. Y'all have seen mine and I know some of y'all also have an iPad on the wall. This is perfect for that. I've tried a bunch of apps for this iPad over the last couple of years and I usually just end up going back to the default home app which isn't perfect. Uh, with Viz Designer, I've been able to finally create a truly custom dashboard for my HomeKit home. This includes only the accessories and cameras that I want there, you know, the ones that make sense for that iPad's location. And with the ability to embed websites and HTML, I can even add my family's calendar and the weather forecast. I can finally build the smart home dashboard that I've always wanted for my HomeKit smart home. I wanna thank Viz Designer for sponsoring today's video and supporting this channel. I've been really excited to share this with you because frankly, it's unlike any other HomeKit app that I've used. So the software costs a one-time payment of $24.99 and that includes everything you'll need for both the desktop and the iOS apps. It's a purchase once, keep it forever kind of thing. They were running a special release discount offer at only $14.99 that originally ended, but They've agreed to extend that discount through the month of February just for you guys, my audience watching here today. So thank you Viz Designer for extending that offer for all of us. Again, $14.99, you can get this app through the month of February. And they do also offer a free test mode that allows you to kind of try out the software using demo HomeKit devices, just to get a feel for the software and see if maybe it's something you'll like and be able to use. And of course, once you buy the app, you'll be able to easily sync all of your own HomeKit devices. I'll put a link down below in case you decide this is something you wanna check out. They're not affiliate links or anything like that, but using that link down below will show the team over at Biz Designer that you learned about this from me and maybe they'll want to sponsor more videos here in the future which does help out the channel so the first thing to do is download the viz designer app on your iphone or your ipad you provide the app access to your home kit home just like you would any other third party home kit app you can create an account and sync your home kit data then you need to download the viz designer desktop application from their website onto your computer again they have a mac and a pc version which is great you'll log in with your credentials that you already created in the uh, in the mobile app and your home kit accessories will then be available in the desktop app it comes with five included design skins with various colors styles and a large selection of included images icons and controls in all kinds of colors you can even change your current design at any point just by switching the skin 
One of the things I love is that it feels very familiar if you've ever used any other design app like Photoshop, GIMP, Canva, anything like that. You have your toolbar on one side, your pages where you can create multiple pages and link them all together your properties window that actually changes based on what is selected. The properties window is where you determine what individual buttons or icons will do when pressed, as well as the status that they display. It has alignment tools, grids, and guides. Again, very similar to Photoshop. They also included most of the familiar shortcuts like Command Z to undo, Command C and Command V to copy and paste. Those small details like that to me is what really makes this app usable and uh, I just really appreciate that attention to detail. So individual elements that you can add include buttons, text fields, sliders, round sliders, color pickers, analog meters. So here's the main remote that I created for my wall mounted iPad. You can see some of the toggle buttons for the main lights that I created. I even have a hidden one here that opens some additional controls for my cabinet lights. Check this out, there's even a button for my Roomba vacuum. You can even define actions for swipe gestures, which is really cool. For example, you can swipe up to you know, show a pop-up of all your cameras or go to another page. Pop-ups are another great feature. I'm using one for my weather widget to show me the entire week's forecast. I have one here actually protected by a password to arm or disarm the security system. Another pop-up for my garage door controls. In addition to the individual elements, they've also included widgets with pre-designed layout templates for many of your accessories. So you can see here, I can look through all of my accessories and choose a widget for, let's say my light strip. I can add it to my page and it's already configured to control the power, brightness, temperature, and color of that particular light strip. I can even disband the widget and remove certain parts that maybe I might not want to use and still use other parts. So I really like that. You can personalize it as much as you want by importing your own images and graphics like your own floor plans, buttons, backgrounds, and just anything you can think of. Check out this design that I made here. Full disclosure, this is not my house or my floor plan. I didn't really want to show my floor plan on the internet, but this is all done with my own images imported into the app and a little bit of work in Photoshop beforehand. So here, check this out. I made a garage door status that actually makes it look like the garage garage door is open when it's open and closed when it's actually closed. How freaking cool is that? I did it again by using my own imported images and the custom status rule feature of the Viz Designer app. I can control the outside lights from the main screen, control my locks, the alarm, or view all my cameras. If I tap on one of the floors, I can see my own imported floor plan. I built this out and added all the devices I wanted. I even have these cool little status icons that will show if a door is open. Now, to be clear, this certainly isn't for everyone. I would put this in more of probably the power users category. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but don't be intimidated. Again, you can try out that free test mode if you want to kind of get a feel for it. And again, if you're comfortable using other design apps like Photoshop, then this is definitely going to be pretty easy to you. There's also some good tutorial videos for getting started over on their website. They also have some tips and tricks and uh, some helpful videos over there on their website. Again, links below to that. And also I'll put links to the websites that I'm using for my weather and calendar widgets down below in case you, you know, in case you like what I've done and want to do something similar. Now there are a couple of things to take note of that I do want to mention. I've been using a real old iPad Air 2 mounted on my wall. I've noticed that the app doesn't run quite as well on that old iPad. The actions and everything still works really fast, but sometimes the status of the devices can take a little long to update. So um, just something to take note, I've had zero latency issues with newer devices. So I'm actually thinking about getting a new base model iPad just to replace my old wall mounted iPad. Uh, because now I can finally have a smart home dashboard for HomeKit like I've always wanted. And additionally, I do want to mention that this app is still very new. It's not perfect. The Viz Designer team is working very hard to fix any issues and support, you know, for products and things that might not work right. So, you know, if you're using this and you encounter any issues, certainly report those to the team. In the time that I've been using it, they've already rolled out a couple of firmware updates, making some great improvements. 
For example, currently the only way to view your temperature gauges is in Celsius. There's no Fahrenheit, but I've been assured that they're working on that and it will be available in the next update coming very soon, so I am looking forward to that. I already said it once, but I'll say it again. This is truly unlike any HomeKit app that I've used before. You know, it really does feel like Photoshop for my HomeKit setup, which is awesome for someone like me. I love it. Um, I think you'll love it too if you have the time to put into it. I can truly create that smart home dashboard for my HomeKit setup the way I want. The ability to integrate websites or HTML widgets like my calendars and weather are huge. The pop-ups that I can create, putting some devices behind a password, the possibilities are just endless. If you wanna give it a try, again, use the link below to download the app while it's still on discount through the end of February. You've seen what I've created using the Viz Designer app. I really can't wait to see what you guys create. Uh, get in there, make some cool stuff. Please, please share screenshots of what you make with me over on Instagram or Twitter, wherever. I'll definitely reshare those. I just feel like this is kind of opening up almost a whole new world for us HomeKit power users. Uh, and let me know if this is something you guys might wanna see like a deep dive into, maybe something during a live stream or something like that where we can you know, really spend some time you know, getting in there, going hands on with all this stuff. All right, that's it for me. Subscribe if you haven't. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next video.